Welcome to today's tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are going to discuss um, the question that is uh, on the screen right now. Okay, so if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure that you click the subscription button and also the notification button so that you don't miss out the videos that I'm going to be posting. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me using any of these lines on the screen. All right, so let's quickly begin to solve the question. Yeah, so the question says a displacement is related to time as x. Uh, so the displacement is related to time as x. Let me just change the color. Okay. As x uh, is equal to a, then we have sine 2 pi ft. Uh, where a is a constant, t is time and f is the frequency. Um, find the dimensions of f. Then they've been uh, they've given us a hint here to say a trigonometric function appearing in the in an equation must be dimensionless. All right. So this is obvious because when you look at uh, this part of this trigonometric uh, equation, you um you agree with me that it's a constant if you are good at dimension analysis or if you have watched my introduction to dimension analysis just by looking at this you can tell that uh, this part is a constant yeah so this hint at the end of the question is simply just telling us to say this whole part is a constant and a constant in dimension analysis has no dimension in other words, it's dimensionless. Yeah, it's, it's dimensionless. All right, so let's see if this is a constant. I'm just trying to prove this even before I start solving this question. All right, so we have 2 pi. 2 pi is a constant because these are numbers. Then let's look at f. So f is, is a frequency. Uh, I mean, f stands for frequency in this case. And um, frequency, the dimensions for frequency is 1 over uh, t. These are the dimensions for frequency. And then the dimension for t, uh, which is time, uh, the dimensions for time is simply just t. So when you multiply uh, f and t, you're simply multiplying 1 over t uh, times t. So if you check this and this are going to cancel. Yeah, so you simply just remain ft as, I mean, ft will simply just remain as 1, which is a constant. So you can see that what the question is saying, that this part is a constant, is true. All right, so let's see uh, what are the dimensions for this, um, for this, um, uh, I mean, for a, according to the question. Okay, so we have x, and then x here is the displacement and the dimensions for displacement are simply just equal to L. And then they are asking us to find the dimensions for A. So how do you do that knowing that this part is a constant? So if this part is a constant, meaning it has no dimensions. Hence, the dimensions for, for A, we know that where this X there, we can put what? We can put um, L. Because we know that the dimensions for x in this case is l. Then um, we have this other part where there is a. Then this part here, the, the the trigonometrical part has no dimension, so we can just leave it empty like that because it's dimensionless. Yeah. So according to the way the equation is, we can conclude to say therefore the dimensions for a are what? Simply just l. All right, so the dimensions for A are simply just L. All right, I don't know if you have any questions, but if you have any questions, feel free to contact me using any of these lines on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also click the notification button so that you don't miss out the videos that I'm going to be posting. All right, see you in the next tutorial video. My name is Amkin.